So today we're going to do a full tech setup, step by step, to get your agency account set up with the self-selling AI snapshot. Now, if you have the self-selling AI snapshot, first thing to note is that this snapshot is designed to run on your agency because it's meant to help sell the AI to businesses. This means don't use the snapshot in your clients' accounts because your clients are not reselling AI, they are instead selling their services, plumbing or gym, fitness, whatever niche that may be. So also uh, one thing to note is only upload the self-selling AI snapshot into your sub account. Do not load both the supercharged snapshot and the self-selling AI as they will cause issues. Now, without further delay, I have three tabs open. I have my high level account, my brand new Zappy Chat account, and the Zappy Chat membership area. Let's start over with the Zappy Chat membership area and load in our snapshot. Click this link and you will need to be logged into app.gohighlevel.com. Even if you have a white label domain, it's still necessary to be logged into high level in order to import a snapshot. What this is going to do is it's going to import it into your agency account. And then later on, you can either create a new sub account based on that snapshot, or you can push it to existing sub accounts. So I've just loaded it in. You can see that it was loaded in today right here. And so if I wanted to, I could go ahead and create a new account right here, go through the steps of uh, inputting my business details uh, and get that locked and loaded. Or alternatively, I can load it into an existing account. Since I already have a demo account set up here, I'm going to go ahead and head over here to take care of that. So I am going to go to sub accounts. That's on the left side here in your agency view. I'm going to use the search bar to find the sub account I want to load it into. And I'm not going to switch, switch to sub account. I'm not going to click that. I'm instead going to click on the name of the sub account. It'll take me into the sub account details here, giving me an action at the top right. And so I'm going to click action, load snapshot. And I'm going to find my self-selling AI. So let's see, self-selling AI. And we just loaded in the 51024 version. You can see older versions all here. Uh, and so make note of what version you imported in. Load in the latest one. Uh, small updates and changes are made occasionally. Once you select that, it will ask you to select which assets you want to push in. Um, I typically leave all of these on. The only one that I might skip is the review settings here, uh, because this is just the miscalled text back. And so if you already have that set up, skip that. Uh, same thing with dashboard. You could also skip that if you have a dashboard set up, but it won't cause an issue if you don't. Um, so everything else should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed. It's going to check for conflicts look for any conflicts there. Um, since it didn't, I could just click proceed. If you did find contacts, uh, uh, conflicts, I would typically overwrite them uh, for the sake of making sure that the snapshot works effectively, but take a look at what's in that list and uh, make the decision for yourself. So since I've got nothing here, I'm just gonna click proceed. And now that snapshot will be loaded into my sub account. And so I can click switch to sub account over here and once in here, I will show you what we need to do in order to get this sub account set up and setting up Zappy Chat and connecting that over. So down here in settings, so this is in the sub account, I'm clicking settings down at the bottom left. Uh, you can then click over to custom values here on the left side. And this will load in your custom values. If you wanna see just this list here, uh, go to folders and open this AI chatbot folder. The uh, all of these are necessary except for the reactivation message. This is optional for in case you want to run a database reactivation and has nothing to do with the self-selling AI, just more about using the AI in general. And then the trigger word is only uh, is only necessary if you want to use a trigger word to fire off your self-selling AI. If you just want to use the form, this isn't necessary, but if it is, you'll put in your trigger word in here. Now, before getting into these custom values, let's head over to app.zappychat get connected there and make sure we're all set uh, with a couple with a booking bot and a non booking bot. So then we can come back in here and finish everything off. 
over here in your Zappy Chat account, uh, you will log into app.zappychat.com using the credentials sent over to you. First thing we'll need to do is set up our integration. Now, if you have the ability to have an agency integration, that is by far the best way to connect your account. And so that's done here in high level V2. Uh, V2 is the high level V2 API, the most advanced API and uh, a lot of functionality there. The only reason to use this older integration is if you are on a uh, on, on an account that does not allow an agency integration, in which case you would come here and connect and choose the location and update that and load in your snapshot manually from the locations and FAQs. But since you have the self-selling AI snapshot, I'm going to assume that you are an agency looking to get more clients and that we're going to use the V2 integration. So I'm going to click here. And once this loads, I'm going to select my agency, go ahead and allow, proceed from here and our agency is connected. Now, if I go over to locations and FAQs, I may need to refresh our locations and all of our locations are now there. So I can look for my SSAI demo account and find my account right here, SSAI agency demo. Now, the only thing necessary here is to update your FAQs so that your bot has FAQs about your business. The easiest way to do this is to scrape a URL. And so let's say you, let's say your SaaS website is gohighlevel.com. You can just come in here, add that, click submit. And after a few minutes, it will generate probably a hundred or so FAQs about your SaaS, about your website there. So that's all up and running and that's all we need to do from this locations and faqs account once it loads then you can come in here and you can edit any faqs that are in here or you can manually add if you have information that's not on your website that you know people are going to ask about so that the bot has that information uh, to use over there so the last thing we need to do here in app.zappychat is create our two bots a non-booking bot and a booking bot this is super easy because all the all the customized work is going to live over in high level and so all we need to do here is click continue and let's start with the booking box that's more complex and so i'm just going to name it booking bot and a quick note this booking bot you can totally use it in your client sub accounts as well because once more the customization happens over in the high level side for the calendar type selecting high level since we're using a high level calendar i'll leave it on the free model for now and over here in the advanced settings, you don't need to change anything. Uh, but if you would like to customize some of this, you can come in and do so. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And we now have our booking bot webhook right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that webhook. Head over to our sub account where we had the custom values loaded up and I'm going to update that for the robot webhook. The robot webhook is the default webhook used and we're going to use the booking webhook because the self-selling AI demo is designed to book and once they finish the demo we want to book them into our own demo calendar. So easy enough for the booking bot webhook. Next I'm going to go do the non-booking webhook. So same thing just non-booking. I'm going to name it non-booking. From here just click add and we have a non-booking bot simple as that once more you can customize those settings further if you have specific use cases that you want to use but for now we can just copy and paste that webhook in here and we now have a booking bot webhook and a non-booking bot webhook and nothing else needs to be done over on the app.zappychat side so the remainder is all done here within your high level sub account we're going to update a couple custom values here and then we're going to make updates to two workflows to make sure that the web scraping tool in those workflows is able to function. So first we need the calendar ID and the dummy calendar ID. The dummy calendar ID is the calendar that the demo is going to book onto, letting, de letting leads know that it's not a real appointment, uh, therefore letting the encouraging the lead to play with it and engage with it in a low commitment manner. Um, the calendar ID will be the calendar that we actually want to book them onto. 
Now, this snapshot comes with a dummy calendar built in, and so that's easy just to use that. If you want to use the demo calendar that's in here, you can go for it. Uh, or if you already have a calendar set up, you can use that instead. So first, let's grab the dummy appointment calendar by just clicking this copy button, and that's gonna copy the calendar ID to our clipboard. Let's see, high level's not giving me a message here, but it does appear to be copied. And so I'm gonna head back over to custom values and update that here. Now, when updating the calendar ID, it's important to note that calendar IDs, if they are a round robin calendar, they need to be assigned to a group and need to have it one, at least one user. Also, your calendar needs to be not in draft mode uh, and have availability on the calendar. So I'm gonna grab my demo calendar as well and drop it into the calendar custom value right here. So while that's loading, the next two pieces we're going to do are the prompt and the trigger word. The trigger word really simply is if you want the chat bot to trigger on a specific word. Um, I've used in the past, go Mavs, because I'm a big Mavs fan. Uh, and, but you might say bot demo or send me chat and whatever trigger word you want to use. Uh, just know that you're going to have to communicate that to your leads, that that's what they should do to experience the demo. And then lastly, here in the open AP, AI prompt, this is where we're gonna give it a prompt based on our business. Um, so you can use the AI prompt generator uh, that's in your membership area to generate a prompt, or for the sake of just getting something up and testing, you could simply say, you are an assistant for, we'll just go with the same demo here, go high level. You should book a demo call for leads to learn more about using the software. So we just need something in here in order to run a test and in order to get some results. Um, you can check out more resources in the membership area for additional prompting. Now, now that we have a prompt, as long as high level uh, stored my prompt there, um, now that we have a prompt and have our custom values filled out, all we need to do is go into our workflows and update uh, two quick things. So from here, all I'm going to do is click on my business profile. And what we're gonna need is our location API key. So while well, high level loads here, once this loads, scroll down and just below this box, you'll see API key. If it's a new account, you might need to generate a key uh, and you can copy it from right there. If it's an existing account, you can just click the copy button. Now we need to go put that into the two workflows that kick off the demo. Those workflows are one based on form submitted and one based on the trigger word. So head over to automation, click on the self-selling AI, and you can see those workflows are SSAI00, demo form submitted, and SSAI00, AI demo, socials and live chat. So this one runs the socials and live chat trigger word. This one runs the demo form submitted. So I'm going to start with the demo form submitted. Click here and you're going to scroll down until you see this scan URL webhook. Click in here and you are just going to need to drop in your location API key right there. So literally just highlight where it says your open API key here. Click save, save the workflow, and that's all you need to do. I will show you briefly that this workflow is also where these intro messages happen. So if you wanna customize this to say something other than thanks for opting in to test, yada, yada, um, or this, uh, or, or this like three, two, one, you can customize that in here. Now, the last thing we need to do is go into the socials and live chat and do the same thing we just did. Uh, but the socials and live chat is a little more robust because it has different channels. And so these triggers are in a couple different places. Uh, so in here, first I'll zoom out and show you where they are. So we have these three different paths for live chat, uh, Instagram and Facebook, and the scan URL steps are further down right here. So here's scan URL, here's scan URL, and oh, I misspoke. The live chat scan actually happens in a different workflow. So there is a third workflow we need to update. Um, but so if you come in and it's zoomed in like this, uh, you'll scroll down past this first condition down to the second condition where we have the scan URL. And we're just gonna paste in 
the webhook there, save, scroll over to the left, do the same under the Facebook path, save, and then save the workflow. Once that is done, the last piece is the SSAI 04. I had forgotten that we added live chat in here. And so in the live chat workflow, you'll do the exact same thing. Open this up, scroll down to find the scan URL webhook, click that, and replace your open API key here with that API key. Once you hit save, your, your self-selling demo is live and ready to go. The last piece that I'll leave to you is in setting up the website. So if you go to sites, you can see that we have two different funnels here. Uh, if you want to turn on live chat, you can use this one and turn on the live chat and have one separately that's without it. Uh, but either way, you will want to put your branding into here. Uh, you can put in a video explaining what's about to happen, or you can change the copy in here, change the branding, the logo, etc. It's all entirely up to you. But this is literally all we need to do in order to have a, a, a working self-selling AI demo set up in your account. So once you've done that, give it a test, run yourself through as a contact. If it gets stopped, head over to your audit logs here in app.zappychat. Uh, by going to audit logs and selecting your location, you'll be able to see any history and see if there are any error codes there that'll point you in a helpful direction. And if not, if nothing's showing up over here, uh, then there might be an issue with one of the workflows. And I'd recommend reaching out to support at support at or hopping on to one of our support calls. That link can be found on the Facebook group or in your membership area. And we'd be ha happy to help you get that sorted out.